getting now the news. For those of you who are first timers here with us uh, for the very first time, thank you very much for joining us. My name is Dale Irvin. I am the professional summarizer. And, and yes, I own that. Little thing with the napkins, I own that too. All right. What I'm going to do in the next couple of minutes is tell you, uh, give you a recap, a summary, an editorial on what has happened over the last couple of days that I have witnessed just watching. So, so hopefully you will find this useful. These are things you should have known had, had you been paying attention. All right. She said your entire physiologic history is recorded in your iris of your eye. And the entire history of what you did last night is recorded in the white part of your eye. The redder, the better. You know? Then next, we presented the prestigious Master of Influence Award to Brian Tracy, who promptly, when he came out here, used the term shit-faced audience. And you notice, as soon as he said that, his microphone quit working. Hmm. Nice call, Naomi. Anyhow. Rayborn and Jeffrey Gittimer and G Gittimer, Gittimer said he's a child of the 60s. And when he, he was growing up, they used to smoke dope and ate jello with their hands. Now he's in his 60s. And he's taking Lipitor and eating jello three times a day. Next up, we had Lou Heckler, who appeared in a red Angels jersey against a red background. All you could see was his head. Very sci-fi. We heard words of wisdom from Larry Winget, who said the economy is never going to be the same. The meetings industry is never going to be the same. DVD sales are never going to be the same. Happy, happy, happy. He's, and he said, people don't like him to the point where a fan jumped on the hood of his car at Costco and started pounding on the hood. Well, first of all, if you're doing 140 full feed speeches a year, what the hell are you doing shopping at Costco? Next on our cavalcade of stars with Terry Shodin, who said that millennials, millennials can multitask. You know, they can be on the phone while texting, IMing, emailing, watching TV, eating a pizza. But baby boomers, on the other hand, are more laser focused. Well, of course we are. I'm a baby boomer. We have to be focused so that we don't wind up running into your ass in the car while you're texting, IMing, emailing, and eating a pizza. <laughs> then came the one thing about her program I'm sure everybody is going to remember. She said that a successful sales presentation is a lot like having a climactic experience. And I'm thinking, really, you know, how does that affect the presentation? What if it kicks in too early? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd really like to speak for your company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 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 I want to speak for your company. Oh, God. Yes. Hire me. I'm good. All right. And then Les told his signature story, so you got to be hungry. You need to be, hu are you hungry? Yes, I am hungry. Have you seen the box lunch? <laughs> Next morning, Steve Seabold got out here. He asked us, what's the difference between a million dollar speaker and a struggling speaker? Taking a flyer here, I'm just guessing about a million dollars. The question was Ken Dykewald, who said that he crafts his speech like he's uh, like, like a Tibetan monk. And that if we ever listened to Tibetan monk chants, we would understand that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I got that on my iPod. The whole album called Hello, Dolly Lama. Oh, yeah, like that doesn't happen. Finally, finally, Ken said that he and his wife get remarried every year. Remarried every year. Ken, how many toasters do you need? I asked my wife if she wanted to get remarried. She goes, you bet. To who? Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Sorry for lying. God bless you. Thank you very much. Hit the music, Kenny. There you go.